It's about 10.40 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Saturday, December 17, 2016. I'm in the Molten... Uh, excuse me. I'm in the Columbia River Gorge right next to Multnomah Falls. I'm about 300 feet next to the Multnomah Creek. Uh, what I'm looking at here is a lot of ice. For example, right here in front of me, I got lots of ferns and other green plants. They're covered with a serious layer of ice. Some of them look like they've got at least half an inch on them. And if I pan left here, you can see up on the rocks, there are huge ice formations, icicles. Some of them got to be several feet long. Some of them are really pointy and sharp on the bottom. It's creepy how yellow and brown they are. I'm assuming that's just from dirty water. That's really weird. So I'm gonna go over here now. Gonna pan down just a bit. So again, look how on the wet side, there's huge ice formations all over these plants, right on the top of the plants. Very, very smooth glaze. I'm not gonna attempt to touch it or anything like that. Wouldn't wanna break it. I'm gonna come over here to the left a bit. And there you are, you can see uh, lots of ice, sort of brownish ice, muddy type ice. Now I'm gonna get over here closer without befouling it too badly. Notice the weird ripple patterns there. I'm not sure exactly what caused that. But if you can come over here, whoops. I got a little close that time. So if I come over here, look at how rig rugged it is. There's all sorts of little bubbly shapes there and so on. That's ice. It's got to be at least two inches thick in some places. And you got icicles and so on that are at least a couple inches long here. Now I'm going to pan up again. There we go. There's some icicles up there that are several feet long. I'm not sure if the temperature here is officially above freezing or below freezing, but there's obviously liquid water dripping down. But yeah, look at the size of the icicles. Some of them have really complicated and interesting shapes. I'm going to pan down again though. So let's look at the floor here. I'm not going to get too close, but so there's all sorts of ice formations here, real bubbly and smooth and rounded. I'm not even sure what's under there or if it's just pure ice. Oops, let me, uh, there we go. I'm not sure what's under here or if it's just pure ice, but I'm looking at an ice formation in front of me. It's got to be three feet tall. Very complicated, multiple, um, what's it called? Icicles. I'm not sure what's holding it all up though. If it's just ice or if that's on some sort of sign. Maybe there's a tree branch. In fact, yeah, I think there's a tree branch under there. And then over here we got clear ice, relatively clear ice. Really smooth. I oh, know the video's picking up, but you can hear the noise of water dripping, liquid water dripping. Really complicated shape here. It's weird, I don't know why, but it seems browner over here and then clear here. I don't know how somehow that's cleaner water there or if it just seems that way. And notice because there's like a little plant branch, there's a flat formation right there. That's really cool. And then same thing over here. There's a couple of horizontal bush branches or something. Wow. I'm going to see if I can get closer to this without befouling it too badly. But yeah, look at this. There's um nice big formations there. I'm gonna pan right. Look at that. Multiple layers of ice. And then I just really like how shiny it is on the bottom where the liquid water is dropping. Get around here. I'm gonna go over here. Same sort of thing. Yeah, I actually came to see Multnomah Falls iced over, but I can't actually get very close to the falls. This is kind of cool because at least I can get right here. Now I'm gonna pan up again. So you can see this sort of drip waterfall I'm standing under. So there's all sorts of ice formations, very complicated and rugged. And for at least a week, it's been, you know, a sort of below freezing, but apparently it's getting a little above freezing during the day, then below freezing at night, etc. back and forth. So it's really interesting. So I'm not sure how long these have been growing. I don't live in the area, so I only come here maybe every few weeks maximum. But yeah, that's interesting. So I'm gonna well, pan down here. I wanna go a little bit farther to the left here. Oops, I keep pushing the wrong button on the gimbal. It's too easy to accidentally push the button here. So here's another one. It's smaller, but it's still kind of pretty. But yeah, there's a nice big ice formation there. Pan up and just all over the gorge here. But this is one of the places where you can get reasonably close to it and actually see it without getting a Darwin Award. There's a second blank sign I saw today. I wonder what that sign's supposed to tell me. 
I think it's legally legal to park here, so I don't think it says no parking. I don't know what else it would say. So here we go. There's some more uh, ice formations up there. Again, they're kind of a gross green color, but I'm not sure if that's dirt or that's just from the plants or what. Nice big ones. Oh, those are huge. Those are like really long, skinny, at least three feet tall, maybe four feet tall. I wouldn't want to be under one of those when it falls down. And then finally, over here where the rocks actually overhang back against the rocks. So the moisture for those must be coming out of a crack in the rocks. Or up there, there could be a crack in the rocks and then drip over the side, create icicles up there. Very interesting. Oh wow, here's some actual clean ones. You see, instead of being all gross and green, this one almost looks clear and white. I think whether it's clear or white, okay, it's too steep for me to climb up there. That's kind of a disappointment, but yeah, wow, look at that. All the way to the top there, off and on, all sorts of icicles. I swear, some of those gotta be seven or eight feet tall. Wonder what the record is. I know in ice caves, they sometimes have big icicles, but out here in the open, or anybody could just walk up and grab it. Surprised nobody's trying to steal it as a souvenir. But there we go. Wow. Funny, this tiny drip waterfall probably didn't have a name. It's just the side of the cliff in the Columbia Gorge. Wish I could get closer. Let me see here. It's a bit steep. Yeah, I can't get up there. Bummer. Because, uh, like I said, I can see the water dripping. Especially on the left side. I see a lot of pieces of, uh, pieces, drops of water falling down. Be real pretty. <laughs>